Hey guys, so I want to play an original song I composed, I guess. It was, it, it came through me when um, I was just, you know, sometimes I play alone and there's a song right there. And um, so it happens after I recorded this song. I was here in Ruckus at a place I lived about five years ago um, that I got out of living out of that situation about, about four years ago in 2016 as it's 2020 right now, right now, for now, for a little bit until we go into 2021. But how this song originally started was I was seeing an older friend or an older guy in the Naimo. I mean, he had a up, he had a grand piano, so I just mess around and fiddle around with the piano a little bit. And I don't know what to do because I love the the piano, but I'm not a pianist, so I would just I would do these little things, and then I record I did a raw recording of it with my iPod at the time. I didn't get any phone thing until later. So I was like, okay, so this is an A, Asus 2, an F, but it sounds nice. And then I was doing all these other things and I was doing the lead and arpeggiated and I did different layers of the, of the, of the song. So yeah, this is an extended little thing. There's much to it. I could talk about this all day about the history of my songs and the ones that I cover and just a lot of things. But this song's called Crutch, and it's it's about um, being the crutch for someone who has it pretty hard. I have it pretty hard, and I never thought I'd write a song like that. So it was kind of d lyrically different, you know. So it wasn't about me. It was about someone maybe out there. I don't know. This one's, anyway, this is called Crutch. I'm in a C, C, C standard tune in, so it might sound a little different than my original recording, which is on here as well, too. Just look up Crutch. Never felt so
sometimes, baby It's better to, it's better to end to move on before it gets too late Drag you and me, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to drag you and me. Another song that's quite popular that should be on the radio. A place I call home. Last song I wrote sober. I haven't written a song in three years, but yeah, kind of, kind of stumbled. Just kind of like thinking, like I haven't actually played crutch in a long time. This is the first time I played it in a long time. So yeah, that's my song crutch and place I call home. Hopefully gonna be I'm in a better, less toxic environment and hopefully gonna write something in, um here. So hopefully you enjoy that and like my songs, like my song, Crutch. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can write something and get inspired, but it's just so hard on my own and doing things. I'd much rather have like heavier sound songs and behind a band, but we all know how that doesn't work out because people don't really stay and I'm the dedicated one and passionate one. And yeah, um, not many people do anything, so it just kind of comes down to me, and I'm fending for myself, so. I don't know what my song will, if, if I do come out and write a song, I don't know what it'll be about. I have no way of releasing these things on iTunes or Spotify or anything, anything public, because I want to do my own self-produce, self-producing. I mean, I do my own. I do it my own. I D D Y I do it, do it my own. Because I don't want a producer telling me, like, oh, you should do that, and be in the eyes and ears, and kind of twist my arms and legs, and and doing things with how things sound, and people dictate how I word things in a song, so. No, if they, if producers wanna, if producers wanna do that and 
articulate what a song will be with another person, and then you don't own the rights to your own song, then they can write their own song. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for listening, and catch you next time. Peace.